In this video I want to show you how you can use my Scale by Tools extension to create uh, an undulating wall pattern or God knows what this could be, <laughs> a 3D printing object um, similar to this here and um, there's obviously a lot of different ways you can approach this but but here's my my version for that. Um, let's assume that you're working off like something like two by fours and then you would want to be able to basically CNC cut the front face um, to to create these and then of course you know attach all of those to a wall or whatever. So there's um, one approach, there's two approaches here that I'm just going to show you but but one is we're starting off with the um, two by fours or the, the, the pieces basically that we're going to modify and then I'm just going to simply draw a rectangle on the face right here so that I have something to work with and now I need to subdivide that rectangle because I'm going to use the um, move vertices by image tool and um, right now I only have four vertices. Um, there's different extensions out there that you could use for that. One thing that works well if you want to use it is you can highlight only the edges, remove basically the face and then go ahead and use the soap bubble tool to to fill everything in. So once you highlight and lost it again, there we go, one, two, three. Um, once you highlight all of the edges, I'm going to start the soap skin tool and by default you can see down here it gives you 10 divisions. I'm just going to make that 20 and then when you hit return everything gets filled in and you can just leave the tool and then you have this um, kind of uh, subdivided plane. Now it's also grouped and I can go in here and I can work with this. Uh, you can see uh, it's kind of, I mean it's, it's regular on the inside but it does have these end pieces that may not be useful for, for what it is you're doing so then then you may want to use a different tool but basically I got a lot of vertices here now that that I can uh, manipulate. Okay I'm gonna stay inside this um, group and I'm going to quickly double check my um, orientation. So the, the vertices are in the green blue plane. I'm going to need that for the tool in a minute and I know that I'm going to want to modify them in the in the red direction. Okay so having highlighted everything and again you can you can highlight faces, you can highlight edges, it doesn't really matter you know basically the tool will pick the vertices so then I go to scale by tools, click on move vertices by image and this is where I need to give it the proper numbers. So I'm moving in the red direction and the distance is going to be two inches. Again you can type in any kind of distance that makes sense for you of course with the units and uh, SketchUp will convert. I don't want to move in any of the other two directions because it doesn't make sense and I need to align my image with a particular plane and like I said earlier the in plane here is green blue. Okay so then I'm just going to click on OK. I'm going to pick my image and ta-da! There you go. Alright so now we've got that. So there's different ways again how you can cut into this. I'm just going to use the solid tools. Um, works reasonably well um, and, and, and you can you might want to try a different approach of course but but this is one that worked for me. In order to do that of course I need to make this solid and that's where Fredo's joint push pull comes in really handy. I'm going to use the extrude push pull tool and I'm going to make sure that it basically extrudes linearly just like this here. Oh, I need to thicken so the finishing has to set to thicken right there and then when I pull this out I can just type in let's say six inches and then click one more time and what I have now is basically a thickened part here. Okay again different approaches that you can take but again this works fairly well. So now I can overlay those two. Basically move this in 
to where all of these overlap nicely. And then I'm going to just go to SketchUp Solid Tools. I'm going to pull it out here for a second so that everybody can see it nicely. <clears throat> and I'm going to use Trim. And by Trim, you'd pick this piece first, and then you can just go through the others one at a time. And then once you do that, you'll see already everything trims really nicely as long as the overlap worked fine earlier. This should just do the trick. Right here. If I remember correctly, um, the face texture is going to get messed up, but we can fix that later. Okay, so now I've got that all trimmed. I don't need the negative anymore because now I've got the positive. Um, I'm still left with this edge, so I'm triple clicking, deleting that. And you'll see now we have ourselves something that's that's usable. Now obviously I might want to fix the textures and um, then you can go ahead and lay this flat and basically send it to the CNC um, machine. So that's, that's how you get this particular one. The other one here, I used a different approach where I actually wanted to use the, the vertices that I have here. So I'm actually going to delete these guys because I'm going to fix my first one. Okay, so now I'm going to explode this. And obviously I only have, you know, the four vertices up on top and four on the bottom. That doesn't do much. So I'm going to highlight this guy here, just this edge. And I'm going to copy it down let's say six inches. Uh, again, I can never remember, so I'm just going to make 20 copies, way too many, and I'm just going to delete these guys. Okay, so now what I have is a lot more vertices. I got two per line here, which should get me further. Now I'm going to go ahead and make copies at three inches times 20. There you go. Okay, so now I can actually operate on this. And there's, there's different ways you can do it. You could you could just highlight um, the front face and keep the back the same. Or you could highlight everything, which is interesting because now the front has many um, uh, you know individual locations, whereas the back only has the top and the bottoms. So pick whatever works for you. <laughs> Go back to the tool, move vertices by image. The directions should be the same. You could group everything and just double check whether the dimensions group differently. But then when you click on OK, after a little bit of thinking, hopefully it didn't crash. <laughs> We should be there in a second. There we are. There you go. So now you can see what happened, of course. All the vertices in the front moved just nicely. Edges got, you know, basically spliced wherever needed. And then the back vertices also moved, but because we didn't have any diff uh, um, you know, uh, um, spacers in between, the, the, there's no. Uh, change there. It's basically still a line. So whichever one of these works for you, feel free to use them. Should get you to something like this here and of course you can you know, pick any image that you like for it. Um, so I hope this was useful. Uh, let me know if you run into any trouble. Um, other than that, have fun with a Scale by Tools extension.